Courage the Cowardly Dog, folks. Ever wondered how a pink scaredy cat, uh, I mean dog, stands up to the wildest, weirdest dangers? Dive into a whirlwind recap packed with holy cow moments and hilarious misadventures from this Cartoon Network gem. Spanning four seasons and 52 episodes, we capture the entire story from its spine-tingling start to its tear-jerking end. So buckle up and let's jump right into the action. We interrupt this program to bring you Courage the Cowardly Dog Show! First, let's set the stage. Between 1999 to 2002, Courage the Cowardly Dog took us on a wild ride full of goosebumps and giggles. Picture this, a tumble down house right smack in the middle of, you guessed it, nowhere Kansas. Talk about an address. This quirky town's brimming with supernatural shenanigans. And right at its core is Courage, our jittery pink hero, rescued and raised by the kindest elderly pair after his puppyhood abandonment, he'd do anything for Muriel and Eustace, even if it means braving the bazaar, shaking in his fur. And while he's chatty with us and his animal friends, with his humans, his motto says it all. The things I do for love. Speaking of humans, there's Muriel. Think of the sweetest grandma who's often clueless about the spooky stuff happening right under her nose. Oh, courage, don't worry. It's only for a short time. She's always cooking, knitting, and believing in courage no matter what. Then there's Eustace, the ever grumpy uncle type, always in his chair with the newspaper, often shouting, stupid dog, at courage. But let's be honest, his grumpiness often lands everyone in trouble. Blah, 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 I'm not getting out of this chair. But the gang's not alone. Meet Cats, that cunning red-coated cat with a snazzy British accent. Welcome to the Cats Motel. Whatever the plot, be it a dubious motel or a deadly game show, Cats is never far, always eyeing our trio. Hello, welcome to Club Cats. And who could overlook Le Quack, the most scheming, quackiest French conman? I mean, duck, with a passion for scams and a signature ooh la la. This sounds like an easy score. Don't even get me started on Courage's computer. A cheeky tech with a posh British attitude, always ready with sassy comments like, You're such a lousy typist. Oh yeah, thanks a lot. It dishes out advice for Courage's spooky situations. But here's the twist. Sometimes this computer takes on a body and roams around freely. Yes, yes, I'm free. <laughs> Phew, excited yet? All right, time to dive into the spooky, silly, and downright wacky world of Courage. Starting with episode one. In the episode, A Night of the Cat's Motel, Muriel, Eustace, and their pink pal Courage are forced to crash at the eerie Cat's Motel due to an unexpected storm. This looks like a crummy place to end a crummy vacation. Yikes. Cat's the sneaky owner, says no dogs allowed. No dogs allowed. But, but. Poor Courage got booted outside thanks to the ever so helpful Eustace. Just when you think things can't get creepier, huge spiders are on the prowl. One spider tries giving Courage a hug. <laughs> Another wants to join Muriel's bath party. Panic mode, Courage hears Muriel scream and dashes to the rescue. And Eustace, nothing's waking him up from his snoring. And just when Courage looked away, boom, where's Eustace? Turns out, his bed's a sneaky trap. He's gone. Zooming to the lobby to seek help, Courage finds more spider chaos and a snoozing Eustace about to be a spider snack. Boom, Courage saves him. But just as they're dashing out, Cats blocks their exit. Quick thinking Courage tosses sleeping Eustace at Cats. Run, Courage, run! In the basement, Cats traps Courage, making him play handball for his life. As Cat celebrates his win, he gets ready to give Courage a spider hug. Muriel crashes in with a racket smackdown. Come on, Courage. We're leaving. Freedom at last. As they drive away, Muriel grumbles. Worst motel service ever. Remember, always check hotel reviews, folks. In the episode Cajun Granny Stew, a sneaky fox with comically bulging eyes craves Granny Stew. I ain't got one of them. It lacks one crucial ingredient. 
a granny. So he spots Muriel at a park, chilling with Courage, and instantly eyes her as his main dish. Despite Courage's brave attempts, the Cajun fox repeatedly snatches Muriel away for his stew, leading to a hilarious chase involving taxis, balloons, and even a steamroller. Each time Courage manages a rescue, the fox, with his deceiving disguises, tricks him. From sky-high balloon antics to a comical casino ruse, the two constantly outwit each other. And boom, just when Muriel's almost a stew star, Courage swoops in, saving the day, and awaken Muriel and a weary Courage relish a surprising aroma. What's that delicious smell? It's Cajun Fox stew on the menu. Courage quips, I've had enough Cajun for one day. In the episode, Dr. LeQuack, amnesia specialist, Eustace is busy fixing the roof when disaster strikes. <laughs> A board hits Muriel on the head, and poof, she's got amnesia. She can't remember a thing, not even Courage or Eustace. Seizing this golden chance, Eustace bosses her around and kicks Courage out. Courage, being the hero he is, sends for an amnesia specialist. Enter LeQuack, a French con artist duck pretending to be a doc with a devious plan to loot the bag's home. There's mallet chasing, pie smashing, and even a human-sized cheese-loving rat. Just when things look bleak, Courage whips out his tricks, saving the day. Oh, and Muriel's memory returns after another knock. But surprise, Eustace ends up with amnesia too. The twist? Courage might just prefer it that way. As for LeQuack, let's just say he quacks up an escape, hinting he's not done with mischief yet. <laughs> in the episode, The Demon in the Mattress, Muriel orders a new mattress. But, uh-oh, it's delivered in a creepy, horse-drawn carriage by shadowy guys. Ignoring Courage's frantic warnings about the mattress's demonic face, Muriel lies on it and BAM! gets possessed by a green, ghostly demon. Fangs? Check. Wild blazing red hair? Check. <laughs> Muriel's transformation shocks both Courage and Eustace. Eustace says, just a bad dream. But Courage knows better. He battles the demon in a comical thumb war, but loses. What to do? The internet to the rescue. Exorcist. Exactly, an exorcist. He finds an exorcism chant, but oops, Eustace tries, fails, and gets possessed too. Courage's computer-aided exorcism does the trick. With Eustace now the demon's host, Muriel springs into action, whacking him with a rolling pin. They lock the cursed mattress, and the creepy delivery men take it away. Relieved, Courage snuggles on Muriel's lap, declaring, Now this is a bed I can sleep on any day. Remember, always read mattress reviews, folks. In the episode Freaky Fred, Muriel's not-so-typical nephew Fred drops by, shears in hand and mischief in his eyes. Now Fred's not just up for a friendly visit, he's on a mission to turn the world bald. Courage quickly clocks the home for Freaky Barber's ribbon on Fred and gets a sinking feeling. Uh-oh, he's next on the shaving spree. Trying to warn, Muriel falls flat as she accidentally throws Courage into the lion's, or rather, barber's den. And what's worse, Eustace ensures they're locked in together. Hypnotize. I feel the joy. I feel the size. Soon, Courage finds himself with only a lonely tuft of fur atop his head is once fluffy ears and tail crafted into an eerie wig. But our slick, furless hero makes a quick call. Using the number on Fred's ribbon, he gets the police to sweep in. Surround the area! Cut the power! We Taking away the barber gone wild. In the end, courage might be short on fur, but never short on courage. Moral of the story? Getting a surprise haircut can be a hair-raising experience. In the episode, Night of the Wermo. While Muriel's gardening, a cute, hungry bunny hops up. She offers it a carrot, but surprise, a big, furry wermole pops out and grabs the bunny. Oops, when Muriel tries to see what happened, chomp, the wermole bites her hand. Ouch! Courage and Eustace rush Muriel to Dr. Vindaloo, the town's goofy doc. But bad news, Dr. Vindaloo just says to keep soaking it. 
That night, under the spooky full moon, Muriel turns wild. With big, sharp teeth like that weremole. Eustace, he thinks it's a mouse, but courage, our brave pup, learns from his trusty computer to save Muriel, he needs a hair from the original weremole. Time for a genius plan. Courage dresses up like a rabbit, tricking the weremole. As Muriel corners Eustace, Courage swoops in and plops the hair into Muriel's mouth. Phew, all seems well until Dr. Vindaloo, now Weremold too, jumps out and scares everyone. Courage's final words? Is there a doctor in the house? In the episode Club Cat, Muriel reads about a fancy cruise vacation. Excited, she packs up, but grumpy Eustace, he won't leave his favorite chair, so he takes it on board. On the ship, poor Courage gets seasick causing chaos when a giant wave crashes no, sir, not get out of this chair. whoosh they're stranded on an island muriel loves it but eustace he misses his chair but wait who's sneakily spying from the bushes it's cats tired courage spends the night making coconut art by day cats pretending to own a snazzy resort tricks muriel and eustace he promises relaxation at a spa. Your accommodations await. But Courage meets a soda machine captain. Yup, you heard right. Warning of danger. He tries telling Muriel, but only gibberish comes out. A no dogs allowed sign keeps Courage out of the spa. But then, terrifying screams. Inside, cats turn Muriel into a washing machine and uses into a wrecking ball for sport. Ah! But wait. Courage won't let his family be used as toys. Zooming in like a hero copter, Courage rescues Muriel. But Eustace? Oh, he's mad. That sneaky cat is in his chair. Chaos, mayhem, and the whole island goes kaboom. Moral of the story? Never mess with a man's favorite chair. In the episode King Ramsey's Curse, late one night, Two sneaky cat thieves swipe an ancient Egyptian stone from King Ramsey's tomb. They try to hide in near Courage's home, but yikes! The ghostly King Ramsey shows up, warning about a dreadful curse. Before they could blink, hungry locusts gobble them up. The next day, Courage discovers the mysterious stone. But oh no, it's covered in creepy symbols. Eustace, always looking to make a quick buck, learns that it's worth a million dollars. But King Ramsey's is back. He warns Eustace, Return the slab, or suffer my curse. And the plagues begin. First, the house fills with water, but Courage heroically drains it. Next, an annoying record tortures everyone's ears until Courage smashes it. Finally, munching locusts start eating the house. Eustace clings onto his pricey slab until the very end, even when the locusts nearly devour them. But Courage bravely tosses the stone to Ramses, breaking the curse. Phew, you'd think Eustace learned his lesson, but nope, he grabs the slab again. Big mistake. Locust return, and poor Eustace gets a crunchy surprise. <laughs> the lesson? Greed can get you into a lot of buggy trouble. I have to admit, watching Ramses eerily manifest from his resting place on TV back then gave me serious creeps. How about you? Which Courage of the Cowardly Dog episode sends shivers down your spine? Drop a comment and let's reminisce together. Alright, back to the story. In the episode, The Clutching Foot, Eustace's foot becomes infested with a stubborn fungus. My foot! My foot! No remedy for Muriel's arsenal, be it cactus, lobsters, or acid, can combat it. Eustace's nap only worsens the situation, transforming him into a colossal, talking purple foot. Picture a big foot with five gangster-like toes, each having its own accent. The bossy big toe then kidnaps Muriel and drafts Courage into a crazy bank heist. After a botched bank robbery and a train encounter, thanks to a banana peel, they aim to topple Florida. Well, except Boca Raton which apparently the foot despises. In a race against time, Courage learns from his trusty computer the oddball solution is... Dog spit. Oh, hey. 
dog saliva. Yup, he must lick Eustace's turn foot to save the day. After a gross yet heroic act, just when Courage thinks it's over, he discovers that the fungus has migrated to his tongue. Imagine a tongue planning world domination. Classic Courage chaos. In the episode, Queen of the Black Puddle. During a stormy day, Courage spots a mysterious puddle outside. When he peeks, a beautiful yet eerie queen with sharp teeth hisses back. Eek! Muriel thinks he just saw a fish, but soon, his watery queen starts appearing everywhere, even in Eustace's tea. She's got a thing for Eustace, and he's getting all dreamy-eyed. Uh-oh, Muriel's worried when she finds Eustace with his head in the bathtub drain, lured by the queen. But things get super spooky when the queen kidnaps Eustace, taking him to her underwater palace. Courage in a cool scuba suit dives in to save the day. He finds Eustace all dazed with a shiny necklace, just like the ones on some scary skeletons. As the queen turns monstrous, <laughs> Courage uses a fishing rod to save Eustace. They race to escape, but the puddle is shrinking. Just in time, they leap out through Muriel's teary exit. Back home, Muriel's mad at Eustace, but all seems well until bath time. The queen's back, but now she's a dog. Courage's face, priceless. Lesson, beware of mysterious puddles. In the episode, everyone wants to direct. One night, the Bag family gets a knock. It's Benton Tarantella, a self-proclaimed world-famous film director. He wants to shoot a zombie movie at their farmhouse. Muriel's thrilled. Eustace, not so much. But boom, a big cash offer, and Eustace is in. Courage, He's suspicious, especially when he sees Benton's body parts fall off and snap back. Yikes. Courage's computer search reveals a dark secret. Benton and his buddy Arrow were fake directors and real-life killers. Benton's a zombie, and he's here to resurrect his dead partner Arrow, buried right under the farmhouse. Their plan? Make Muriel and Eustace their next victims. As the planets align, Arrow rises. The quick thinking Courage rewrites the movie script. Eustace unknowingly reads the new plan to the zombies. The big zombie lets the dog out of the box. What? They go back into their grave and Courage buries them. Phew, Courage saves the day. And Eustace, he's still waiting for his paycheck. When am I getting paid? Always remember, not all directors are what they seem. In the episode, The Curse of Shirley, Muriel and Courage are prepping for Eustace's birthday bash, but Shirley, a mystical chinchilla, pops by, hoping for some kindness. Muriel and Courage share gifts, but Eustace, he gives her the boot, and the door slams. Yeah, I got something to give. Yikes, Shirley's not happy, and with a toot of her magical sacks, she curses Eustace. Uh-oh, now he's got a personal rain cloud, always pouring on him. But stubborn Eustace, he doesn't believe in curses. As he's mean to more folks, his cloud grows bigger and darker. One night, lightning zaps his glasses off, making everything look like monsters to him. On his birthday, he even sees Muriel as a monster. Courage knows he needs Shirley's help. She gives him a special mirror, which, after a clumsy drop, shows Eustace a reflection of his younger self. Feeling a rare moment of kindness, Eustace's curse lifts, but all habits die hard, and soon, the rain's back. The lesson? Kindness matters, or you might just get zapped. In the episode, Courage in the Big Stinkin' City. When Muriel wins the sitar contest, the Bag family hits New York City. Uh-oh, here's a twist. They're greeted by Schwick, a huge cockroach who has a secret name nobody can say. He leads them to his spooky rehearsal room, filled with bones, and uh, a mouse hole monster? Yikes! Schwick sends Courage on a wild package quest, leading him to a creepy building with monsters, including the eerie violent girl. Courage lands a subway train right into the theater where Mural is practicing. The evil package? Just a window squeegee. Schwick, furious, releases the rehearsal room monster. Zooming across the stage, Courage and Muriel evade Schwick, 
leading to a grand performance with cop backups dressed as dancers. Schwick's big secret? He's a wanted baddie and gets caught, ending Muriel's star performance while Eustace, just a skeleton grumbling at the TV. Classic Eustace. Remember, never trust big city cockroaches. In the episode Cat's Candy, Muriel and Courage are whipping up some delish candy apples for a big contest. Meanwhile, Sneaky Cats creates a wiggly jam monster to snatch Muriel and squeeze out her candy apple secret. But oops, it snags Courage too and drags them to Cat's candy store. Eustace, lured by a trail of jam, is on his way. Down in the basement, Katz wants Muriel's secret or else she'll take a scary taffy puller plunge. And poor Courage, bubble gum to a wall, but her brave pup breaks free and floats up to Katz. Suddenly, Eustace jumps in, scares the jam monster and, uh oh, accidentally turns Courage into a juju candy. Now aren't you sweet? After some wild candy cane fights, Courage saves the day by dunking Katz in the taffy machine. Muriel's secret, vinegar. At the contest, Muriel and Courage win big, while Cat stretches into second place again. In the episode Nowhere TV, guess what? Eustace dreams big. He's sure he'll win the lottery jackpot just when he's daydreaming. Who knocks? It's LeQuack. Bonjour, I'm LeQuack. Pretending to be a TV repairman, he sneakily ruins their TV antenna. Eustace, poor guy, thinks Courage did it. Can you believe it? Courage discovers LeQuack's trick, but no one believes him. Stupid dog broke the antenna. LeQuack has a plan. He hypnotizes both Eustace and Muriel through the TV. Now Eustace is tossing Courage far away using a fence post. And Muriel, she's juggling as a clown. Well, how do you, do you, do you? Must be slick. Must They're be. off to steal lottery money for sneaky LeQuack. As they race to LeQuack's hideout with the money, Courage drops cash from the truck, leaving a trail. The police follow. Surprise! LeQuack finds only a dollar and our brave doggy in the loot bag. After a wacky TV prop fight, the cops nab the bad duck. Back home, Eustace wins the lottery. But it's just chump change after their wild adventure. And guess what's on TV? LeQuack, vowing to return. Always expect the unexpected with Courage around. In the episode Mega Muriel the Magnificent, Courage's computer gets sassy. It's raining cats and, well, just one dog. As Courage types away, sharing his spooky tales with his computer pal, the computer teases him. If only I had legs, I'd show you, Courage. Now hold it, don't hit that bottom. But be careful what you wish for. Bam, lightning hits, and now the computer has tentacle arms. First, it takes over Eustace. But uh, oops, too scrawny. So next, Muriel. And just like that, Muriel turns into a daredevil, doing all sorts of wild stunts. From being shot out of a cannon to Mars, yes, Mars, to diving into an earthquake, and even skiing down the Empire State Building. All along, Courage, our ever brave pup, dashes around, trying to save stunt crazy Muriel. The climax, a power plant mishap. Mega Muriel gets struck, and it's up to Courage to save the day. But remember that cheeky computer? After that zappy chaos, it goes back to being, well, just a computer. Muriel is back to normal, and as she reads Courage's tales, she chuckles. The day's lesson, real Courage isn't about stunts. It's about love and care. In the episode, McPherson Phantom, chaos erupts in the Bag household. Muriel seems to accidentally cause all sorts of wacky misfortunes to Eustace. From exploding shoes to pecking chickens. Uh oh, Eustace is convinced Muriel's out to get him. Knock knock, who's at the door? It's Ma. Ma. I got me a mail order degree in psychology therapy. Eustace's sneaky mom, flashing a brand new mail order therapist license. She's here to help, but her advice? Their marriage is a lost cause. Hold on, there's a sneaky black ghost lurking named Widow McPherson. She's the mischief maker, framing poor Muriel for her misdeeds. Why? 
She's convinced Muriel's ancestor tossed her hubby into Loch Ness. But Courage has a plan. With a brand new therapist license from his trusty computer, he tries to mend the marriage rift. After a heart-to-heart -heart therapy session, Muriel and Eustace are all lovey-dovey again. Thank you, Dr. Cunnitz. You're a brilliant therapist, John. But wait, Ma teams up with McPherson, aiming for Muriel's exit and her own cozy spot in the farmhouse. During a comical inkblot showdown with Courage, Ma spills the beans. It was her ancestor who did the Loch Ness dirty work, not Muriel's. Whoops! Enraged, the ghost chases Ma, the lobsters in tow. Lesson, don't blame others for your family's lobster-filled past. In the episode, The House of Discontent, once upon a time, at the bag's farm, a droopy flower didn't bloom. Even when Muriel asked the Harvest Moon for a little magic, poor uses grumbled about nothing ever growing. Nothing ever grows here. Nothing ever will. I'm done trying. Things got spooky when a mysterious voice echoed, Get out, to Muriel, making her kitchen a wild circus of flying forks and angry apples. Courage zoomed to her rescue with a truck. But wait, Eustace, just trying to relax in a tub, got a splashy surprise. Water burst in, and a ghostly head, the spirit of the harvest moon appeared. <laughs> The spirit wasn't happy. The farm's lack of crops made him grumpy and he gave them till midnight to grow one plant or say bye-bye to the farm. And if you can't, well, you were warned. Courage raced against time, trying zany ways to help the droopy flower. Alas, nothing worked. As midnight neared and with Eustace and Muriel trapped in a melting basement, Courage had an idea. Eustace's sweat. Quick thinking, right? The tiny droplets revived the flower. In the end, the ghost was impressed. Eustace learned that with a little sweat, anything is possible. And that's how Eustace became a sweaty farmer? Funny how things turn out. In the episode, The Tower of Doctors Alas, the quirky town of nowhere is shaken up by a wacky scientist named Doctors Alas. He demands a whopping $33,333,333,333, try saying that fast, for his unhappy cannonballs that make everyone, well, super unhappy. When the mayor of nowhere laughs at him, Dr. Zala starts firing his cannonballs, making everyone super sad. But wait, at the back farm, Muriel has these cool happy plums. I can make anyone grin ear to ear. Oh boy, we might have a solution. But when Dr. Zalas' cannonballs strike, Muriel becomes all sad. And only Courage and Eustace aren't affected. Sneaky, sneaky. Now our brave dog, Courage, enters into the towering fortress of Zalas. Inside, there's a giant cauldron making those gloomy cannonballs. But yikes! A mean rat attacks Courage. Quick thinking, our furry hero tosses Muriel's happy plums into the rat's mouth. Turning him into a cute baby rat. Go Courage! Zooming to the top, Courage faces off against the loss in a wacky game of Hangman. And just when things look dicey, Courage uses the power of the happy plums. Suddenly, joyous pink cannonballs save the day and bring happiness back to nowhere. In the end, Muriel's magical plums cure even Dr. Zalas blues. And guess what? He ends up hugging the baby rat. Talk about a plumtastic happy ending. In the episode, Stormy Weather. Whoosh! A crying lady with her personal storm cloud? <laughs> Courage spots her outside while enjoying his bone but gets a surprise hug. Muriel thinks Courage found a new friend and invites the lady in. But hold on, she's a storm goddess. She misses her dog, Duncan, who, get this, looks like a mini Courage, but she wants Courage? Muriel says no way. Boom, house destroyed. Eustace goes flying, Courage to the rescue. Off he goes to find Duncan and save Muriel. After global searching and no luck, he ends up in a sewer? And whoa, he finds a huge bone, the god bone, and Duncan's there licking it. Thank you. And there are bone-crazy dog skeletons. Yikes. Courage, being the hero he is, 
as an idea and acts super cuddly to the goddess, making Duncan jealous. Ta-da! Duncan's back with the goddess. Phew! Back at home, Muriel's all smiles. And courage, he's sneakily licking that giant bone. Lesson? Sometimes you just got a bone to pick. In the episode Hard Drive Courage, poor Eustace is super sick. Muriel tries her special jelly to make him better, but oops, Eustace doesn't like its secret ingredient. Beaches. Vinegar. Muriel and Courage then turn to the computer for a nifty recipe, but oh boy, it takes forever to download. And guess what? The computer catches a nasty virus, turning it all glitchy and sneezy. Muriel gets zapped into the computer world. Courage, being the brave doggo he is, jumps in to save her. Inside, it's a wild digital roller coaster. There are flying iron monsters, sneaky computer snakes, and Courage even turns into... Soda? What? Muriel has a chat with the sickly hard drive virus, and guess what cures him? Muriel's jelly. Just shut up and eat! Well, what's in it anyway? Yay, everyone's back in the real world. Eustace is all better, but he still doesn't like vinegar. Ha, the day's lesson? Sometimes the weirdest things make the best medicine. In the episode, Dome of Doom. Uh-oh, there's a drought. No food grows, and Eustace is grumbling big time. I need food! The gusty wind surprises Courage with a newspaper ad for free food. They order, a dome is built, and seeds are sown. Boom, a storm rages, but leaves behind a veggie wonderland. As Muriel harvests, those sneaky pea plants growl at courage. But wait, Muriel's cooking, and those peas attack. Sliding in like a hero, courage frees her using olive oil. Yikes, hungry Eustace gets a bite from a very alive cabbage, and now all veggies are chasing them. Tomatoes with stingers? Ouch. A discovery? These veggies have scary DNA. Like hornets, courage freezes them with snow, but they're back. In a wild twist, Courage uses Eustace's stinky feet to make veggies munch on each other. Eustace feasts on the aftermath and, well, he's huge! Ending with a hungry, floor-breaking Eustace shouting for dinner. Gosh, veggies can be tricky. In the episode Le Quack Balloon, Muriel and Courage whip up Scottish dream cookies. Muriel doubles the butter because, yum, more butter. As Eustace bumbles around looking for his glasses, Courage spots a hot air balloon. And guess who's back? It's Sneaky LeQuack. I am LeQuack of Swedish Hot Air. This ducky trickster switches Muriel's cookbook to a Swedish version, making her think that she needs rare Swedish vinegar. Knock knock, who's there? LeQuack, with a ride to Sweden. Muriel is thrilled, but Courage, not so much. The twist? Instead of a sweet trip to Sweden, LeQuack has a sneaky plan to make Muriel rob a huge Swedish piggy bank. Oh no, they zip around the world doing many heists, while Courage, dragging Eustace, chases after them. As they reach Sweden, Muriel starts to catch on to LeQuack's shady business. Drama ensues. Courage takes a cannon ride, saving Muriel in a dashing mid-air rescue. To crash into a store full of Swedish vinegars. We end with Courage rocking a pilot look, giving a fun reminder, you gotta fly, baby, fly. What a ride. In the episode, The Mask, Muriel is out collecting eggs, and whoa, here comes a masked woman named Kitty. She smacks Courage around with a basin while declaring, Dogs are evil. Muriel, she thinks they're just playing. Uh-oh, Kitty stays over and drops a big reveal. Her friend Bunny is trapped by her mean boyfriend, Mad Dog. Yikes. And would you believe it? Kitty's really a cat underneath that mask. Courage gets all spooked out. Kitty keeps attacking Courage. <laughs> Muriel and Eustace are clueless. Kitty's got this toy mouse, a gift from Bunny. Courage, the brave puppy is, snatches it to help Bunny. 
He races off, meets Bunny, and gets her away from Mad Dog in a wild car chase. Boom! Mad Dog almost becomes strange toast, but survives. Meanwhile, Mural and Eustace are back home, bickering of course. Reunion alert, Courage helps Kitty and Bunny reunite on a speeding train. They speed away, shouting their things. And Kitty learns, not all dogs are bad. Courage comes home, finding Eustace using Kitty's mask for DIY safety. Our lesson? Never judge a book by its mask, or a dog by its bark. In the episode Muted Muriel, one sunny day Muriel feels blue. Why? Eustace. He's too busy with his paper and TV to hear her. Eustace bag! So what does Muriel do? She zips her lips, not a peep. Eustace thinks it's vacation time with no Muriel chatter, but not courage. No breakfast? Uh oh. I wanna know if she's gonna make me breakfast. <laughs> Urge seeks help from Dr. Vindaloo. Only magic can help, jokes the local quirky doctor. Zoom! Off Courage goes to Shirley the medium. Guess what? Shirley's got a plan. With a wacky wave of her saxophone, Shirley summons, wait for it, a huge starfish monster. And only Muriel's voice will stop it, she says. So, monsters stomp into the back farm, mountains crumble, and Courage, on a speedy unicycle, races home. Back at the farm, disaster is near. Muriel won't speak, even with the monster about to smash the farm and Courage. But when our pink hero is in danger, Muriel shouts for Courage. Starfish returns to the dirt. Muriel learns her voice counts especially to her furry little hero and the big starfish. Ends up, Eustace now has to listen. Why? Courage's sneaky tape gag. I said, is that clear? Mm -hmm. Lesson, every voice matters, even in nowhere. In the episode, Last of the Star Makers, zooming across the galaxy, a huge male star maker, a space squid making stars, is with his mate. They're about to be a mommy and daddy with their shiny space eggs. Suddenly, a space whale as big as 10 school buses chases them. The male sacrifices himself, making the most gigantic boom in space, turning into millions of stars. So heroic. Now the female star maker crash lands by Courage's house with her eggs. Courage sees it and thinks, what in the wiggly woo? He gets Muriel and she's super amazed. I think this is a giant squid nest. <laughs> they discover she's from space and Eustace smells money. Beep beep, military trucks zoom in. They trap the space mommy, separate her from her eggs, and take Muriel. It's panic mode. Time's ticking or bye bye to the space squids. Courage, being the brave doggo he is, saves the day by reuniting the eggs with their mom. <gasps> Phew! Up in the sky, a new star family forms, lighting up the night. The brave space mommy becomes a flower garden on Earth. Then, the general pays Eustace in rocket fuel money, and kaboom! Eustace turns into a grumpy star face, shouting at Courage one last time. You stupid dog! Moral of the story, from stars to flowers, life's a cosmic dance. In the episode Ball of Revenge, Eustace boils with jealousy. Muriel knits a warm blanket just for courage and Eustace? Well, he decides it's time for courage to pack his bags for good. Rallying a team of courage's biggest nightmares, like cats, the mysterious black puddle queen, the hungry weremole, sneaky laquack, Cajun fox, and the huge big toe, they all huddle in the basement. Sneaky plan? You betcha. Who are we gonna destroy? That stupid dog! Muriel back from grocery shopping, hears a ruckus. What's that noise? She asks. Eustace, quick as a fox, says it's just his men's club, wanting sandwiches. As she delivers, the sneaky villains barely hide behind newspapers. But oops, Puddle Queen's sandwich craving gives them away. Muriel? She's not pleased. But oh no, they chain her up, hoping her screams will lure courage. And boy, does it work. Courage, always the brave pooch, faces a wild dodgeball game with his foes. Some goof ups and laughs later, with villains ready to pounce, Muriel reminds Courage of his special talent. 
And what does he do? He lets out the loudest scream ever, sending most baddies tumbling into a chasm. In the end, Bad Boy Eustace rests on the floor, Stupid dog. while Courage claims the cozy chair. But watch out, Freaky Fred pops up on TV, and Courage, he just can't help but scream again. Remember folks, a scream can save the day. In the episode Remembrance of Courage Pass, hold on to your hearts folks, our furry pal Courage spots a missing dog ad on a milk carton and wham, flashbacks hit. When Courage was just a teeny pup, his parents took him to a vet. But uh oh, this wasn't just any vet, this one was super creepy. Before he could bark, Courage's parents got scooped up in a net and vanished. Now Courage's heart is heavy, so heavy that he doesn't munch on his empanadas. Muriel notices something's up. Eustace? He's just busy snatching Courage's food, grumbling, Human food's too good for you. More memories flood in. Courage recalls sneaky peeks into the vet's secret lab, spotting other caged dogs. And the worst bit? Seeing his parents locked in a rocket by the nasty vet. The vet had this wacky plan to shoot dogs into space to make space dogs? Zoom back to now, Marilyn Eustace, worrying about her day's doggo, take him to a vet clinic. And would you believe it? It's the same evil vet. <gasps> he recognizes Courage and whispers wicked plans to Muriel and Eustace. Courage tries to flee, but it's a mad dash all around. The countdown's on. Rockets, close calls, and Eustace and Muriel getting trapped. You'll be the first humans to see my secret experiment at work. Courage must save the day. And save he does, using his loudest bark and some nifty tricks. Rocket's about to blast off, but not without our heroes. That evil vet, he gets a one-way ticket to an unknown planet. Guess who's waiting? The missing dogs. And they're not too happy. Revenge? Oh, you bet. The final cherry on top, a heartwarming memory of baby Courage meeting Muriel for the first time. What courage you have? Would you like to come home with me? The message? Family is not always about blood, it's about love. And boy does Courage love Muriel. In the episode, perfect. Courage is having a bit of a bumpy day. Eustace, being his grumpy self, says that Courage can't do anything right. You can't do nothing right. Ouch. Then out of nowhere, this old school teacher named the Perfectionist pops up. She's a tough cookie and can only be seen by Courage. Is she real? Is she imaginary? Who knows? But she's on a mission to turn Courage into Mr. Perfect. First on the perfection checklist, walking. Courage must balance a heap of books up the stairs. All the books must stay. She says, You're not the least bit perfect. Courage wobbles and drops a book. Yikes. Next up, speaking, but tongue twisters? Not Courage's forte. Imagine saying the turkey in Albuquerque is positively perky. Yeah. Not so easy. But the ultimate challenge? Creating. Courage's task? A mini Eiffel Tower. But, uh oh, his tower is a bit, well, wobbly. A past student did it flawlessly. Courage, feeling downcast, can't help but compare. Nightmares of being imperfect haunt our fluffy friend. But here's the kicker while brushing his teeth, a super wise fish, yes, a fish in the bathtub, drops a wisdom bomb. Courage then spots Eustace's wonky bugle and Muriel's goofy baklava and, you know what, they're embracing their imperfections. He gets one more shot at perfection, drawing a perfect number six. He scribbles a doodle, flips it, and voila, a six. But Miss Perfectionist, she loses it, big time, turning into a meltdown puddle. Poof, gone. As we wrap, Courage, with a big old grin, joins Muriel and Eustace for dinner. And her wise fish buddy, he gives a thumbs up, reminding us all, perfect's just a word. Being you, now that's golden. Courage has whisked us through a whirlwind of spooky tales in the middle of nowhere, with chuckles, shrieks, and heartfelt moments. From alien squids, the vengeful phantoms, every episode had us biting our nails, wondering, will Courage save the day? But in Courage's world, every ending hints at new mysteries. Beware. For whispers around the farmhouse, 
suggests there might still be mysteries lurking. Did we truly see the last of Cats and Laquack? But hold on folks, if Courage's spooky tales surprise you, the amazing world of Gumball will have you laughing non-stop. In Elmore, school life meets insane wild adventures, all thanks to the wacky Watersons. Thought Courage's world was wild? Gumball is next level fun. Don't miss it, pure cartoon magic awaits with the Watersons. Let's go!